Hey, hey, hey there, everybody! It's Little Saber 31 here, welcoming you back to another episode of Let's Play Luigi's Mansion. In the last episode, we began mm. our search for our brother Mario after acquiring Professor E. Gad's weapon of choice for combating ghosts, the Poltergust 3000. And with our trusty Dustbuster in tow, conquered the first room of the mansion, the parlor. And in this episode, we shall begin by venturing forth into the next room and seeing what lies in store for us and hopefully the rest of Area 1. So without further delay, let us begin. Mm -hmm. With the door shut behind us with spikes and thorns, we are in the ante room. <coughs> now in the last episode, I forgot to mention one important thing. Mm -hmm. These little suckers got names too! So we call them by the names when we suck them up and kill them. That right there, the regular orangish colored ghosts are known as gold ghosts. These little suckers right here have a little funny story to them. Those in the American version of this game, which I will point out has very many differences compared to some of the other versions of the game, they are what is known as pink punchers in the European and Australian version. But in the American version, those particular ghosts are known as purple punchers. Now, as you can clearly see, these things are not. They are not purple in any way, shape, or form. So I will not be calling them purple punchers. I will be calling those suckers. Pink punchers for the duration of this let's play. If you got problems with that, go to Canada or something. Canada. Go, go to Canada. That place doesn't exist. Go somewhere that doesn't exist. Mario. Like Mario. Mario there. Mario lives in Canada. Mario's from Canada. That's why he's not here. Jerk. I'm just gonna blow air at you. Blow air. I guess you could say Luigi's full of hot air. <laughs> nope, that was an awful pun. I'm just gonna go in the next room. Mm -hmm. Alrighty! This next room is very important. The wardrobe room. Just Luigi's getting changed. He's going out for another town. Alrighty. Now, for many of you who know in this room, I'm going to tear up the Go and get caught up in this mess. Alrighty. Another new ghost I neglected to point out. I like bananas, man, but. Geez. Wow. Alrighty, meet the garbage can ghost. Garbage can ghost, as you saw, like the pink punchers, are a lot tougher than your standard gold ghost. These guys having 40 HP, not making them any harder to suck up, but they're a little bit more of a challenge in addition to the fact that they drop banana peels everywhere. Over I'm sealing you up tight in the vault, gold ghost. Get in my garbage can ghost, don't know. Take it out the trash! <laughs> Alrighty, now that we've cleared all the ghosts that will come out and surprise us. Stand in front of this wardrobe right here. Tilt your flashlight up and open the wardrobe. Get in here! Alrighty, my friend. That was our first Speedy Spirits. Yes, the Speedy Spirits are ghosts within the game that hide within furniture and... Uh, closets and cabinets within the different rooms of the mansion. They, as you saw, reveal. Uh, they have contained a large sum of cash, uh, all sorts of wonderful goodies inside them. When you su uh, successfully capture them within the Pulpit 3000. Unfortunately, the reason why I had to prepare there because I did not want to get interrupted by that in any way, shape, or form. For Speedy Spirits do not respawn after defeating them. They only appear once, and if you do not defeat them upon first try, they do not come back. There's one exception to this that will happen later in the game, but for the time being, you cannot retry them. So it's very important to capture them first try if you're going for a very high ranking in the game, which I am trying my best to do for you, the viewers who like to watch and enjoy and gather dust as Luigi runs in circles. Oh no, oh no, dust is everywhere. What will we do? We have a Orc 3000, we're prepared for this nonsense. Alrighty, and the last ghost is in here. He thinks he can surprise us, but we're putting him in the vault. We're gonna put him away. Alrighty. <gasps> What's that? <gasps> is that a key? Is that a key, Luigi? You want the key? You want the key? You want the key? Well, we're gonna get you that key, Luigi, if yes, we are. Look at me, you got a key. And it appears we must backtrack a bit in order to use that key. Alrighty. But if we go outside real fast, we'll see. Oh, that's another toad. Toad, it's okay. Cheer up, toad. Wah, wah, Mario, where are you? Wah! Oh, Luigi? Yes, Luigi, oh, I can't you found me. I feel so much better now. 
Please, please, please save Mario! I looked everywhere! I can't find him! Where is he? And we have another toad right there. Another wonderful, wonderful save point. The reason why I came out here was because it's very important to try to light up all the rooms in the house. And, as if we press Y to check our map, that was a room in the house. So, that actually counted towards successfully clearing every single room in the house. Even if all we did was talk to a toad and cheer him up. One other thing I will note out, point out, ah! Wonderful thing is to point out, another type of money. We have introduction of gold bars. Compared to coins and bills, they are the most valuable and are very, very nice to have. But what I was trying to say before I was interrupted by that is, even though it is very important to check rooms for all sorts of hidden currency while they are dark, do not feel afraid to go back into previous rooms and check the already checked areas. For example, that particular room, the parlor, the ante room, had a gold bar in it. It did not have in there before, so therefore, it is worth your time if you're going for a good ranking to recheck rooms for different types of currency. As you can see, I'm doing that right now, and I found, I found a gold bar, which is pretty damn nice. If I do say so myself, alrighty. Sorry. Very paranoid about making sure I check everything in these games. I just don't want to miss out on anything. Huh. What? What is this? Luigi. What up, Mr. Luigi? It's me, Professor Egad. I detect spirits stronger than we've seen looking ahead. I think it must be some kind of escaped ghost gallery. Gallery ghost. You should know that they're really different from the other ghosts you've found so far. They don't show their hearts very easily. Nope, not at all. When you find one, you should use for the expert to search its heart for clues. Sometimes you can learn the best way to surprise them. Oh, well, Luigi, I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. Luigi's Game Boy has a freaking phone in it? What? It has a camera nonetheless. Jeez, Luigi's getting stuff on the Game Boy that we didn't even have until the freaking DS, man. <laughs> Jealous much? Anyway, yes, we have appeared to discover a new hallway within the mines of Area 1. Oh, we have some mice mice. Aw, we have some little ghost mice. Come here, ghost mice. Come here, ghost mice. Aw, you're so sweet. Yes, we have two different types of ghost mice. The blue mice will only crawl on the floor, where the purple mice, as you can see, I'm on the walls. Aside from that, they are relatively harmless. Running into them does hurt you a little bit. But, look at all these doors! So many doors! Let's open all the doors. Let's see, does this door work? No! Curses! Yes, that door right there is actually a trap door. There are several of those doors within the mansion that do not actually lead anywhere. In fact, they're just traps and cause Luigi to lose money. Two ways to check to see if a door is fake or not. Firstly, you can look at your map, and as you can clearly see... There we go. As you can see, there is not a door to be found right there. Another surefire way to tell, which is the personal favorite of mine that is actually the problem, the easiest, is actual doors have doormats in front of them. As you can see, doormat, doormat, no doormat, therefore, fake door. But. Enough of that rabble, 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 rabble. Let us enter the first room. Hmm, let's see, what do we have here? Oh! Hey! Do not hit me in the face with your books! No. Don't wanna read? I didn't come here to read! I don't have time for books! Who reads anyway? Oh, yeah. Oh, I guess Luigi likes to read. There is a book called Darkness Is Their Cheese. Why not? Ghost mice are drawn to darkness, and real mice are drawn to cheese. In the dark, they shine gold with contentment. I must try to get close to one before the lights come off. Gone. See, Parmesan. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I didn't read that the first time I played this game. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> Why is that there? You found the book of Pericles. Will you read it? Sure, why the hell not? There are spirits known as elemental ghosts. They live in the elements of fire, water, and ice that make up much of our world. I mean, there are more than three elements, but, I mean, whatever, I won't complain. To handle these elements, one must first obtain a f element medallion. Perhaps the elemental ghosts are only visible to the bearer of such a medal. Well, it'd be pretty sweet if we could get one of those later in the game. You found Neville's big baby care diary. Will you read it? 
Sure, why not? My third son is still a baby. Oddly enough, he seems to scare people in the ways that others two never did. The twins, now. They're afraid of fire, water, cold, and wind. Why, they shake with fright when the beasts by they swept by these elements. Sometimes I think they are more childlike than the baby. Okay, well... Hmm. I'm pretty sure I saw a dude right there. Yeah. There's a book of riddles! Will you read it? See, si, senor! Mysteries appear whenever people turn, but turning away from them solves nothing. Instead of turning away, turn to the side and look at the mystery from a different view. A way will surely open. That particular book is referencing how we are able to find- Oh! Oh! We got him! We got him! Oh, and here we go! Starts the derby! This, my friends, is Neville, the father of the mansion! Our first boss ghost encounter, as you can clearly see, boss ghosts are much harder to catch than any other ghosts in the game. I was a bit surprised that that happened so soon, and as you can see, boss ghosts such as Neville, my f Oh my god, no! God dang it! God dang it! God dang it! God dang it! Ah! I am so stupid, friends! I am just so stupid! God dang it! There's stuff in this room I forgot to do! And I accidentally captured Neville, the frickin' father ghost! God dang it! Ugh! I will be back in a minute. Bear with me, friends. Okay. Sorry. Many of you are probably wondering why that went about as it did. Well, there are two very important things in this room that I completely forgot existed until after I captured Neville. Well, starters would get some good. Okay, that's, I, I can take money. Money makes this moment better. It makes it less awkward. Alrighty. For starters... There is another speedy spirit in this room! But, this speedy spirit is very important. Or it contains something that is very, very vital to success in this game, but at the same time is very annoying. Ooh, we got a gem! Fantastic, yes, that is a gem, a ruby to be specific. Rubies, uh, sapphires, emeralds, all sorts of a plethora of various types of gems are located in this game. They are very important to succeeding, achieving high ranks, where they are worth a lot of money. Speedy Spirits have them all the time, and so they're very important if you're looking to high score this game, get the Speedy Spirits, make sure you get those gems. Second thing to note, another important thing, if you remember reading The Darkness is Their Cheese, discussing golden mice that shine with joy and delight, well, there's some cheese! Swiss cheese. I like Swiss cheese. Oh, some Swiss cheese. I can open some of that right now. Well, more importantly than Swiss cheese, searching this block of cheese spawns a little golden mouse. And if you catch this golden mouse, he explodes with joy and money. Yes, and as you can see, we got an emerald this time around. So, it was very much so worth my time to go back and re-clear those rooms, because yes, I have to redo everything you just watched me do it again. Because it is important, and it was very worth it in the long run. So, now that we have redone everything and done it right this time, let me show you how to properly catch Neville. Like the book discussed, while Neville's back is turned, look at him from a different angle, and then when he yawns... Oh, God! Dang it! God dang it! I'm just screwing everything up tonight, my friends. We're going to try once more, and hopefully... And we're gonna get on this time! Let's go! Let's go! Bring it, Neville! As I was trying to discuss before, boss ghosts are much harder than your average ghost. Neville, as you can see, Neville had over a hundred health. No! Oh, no! God dang it! No! Oh, God dang it! God dang it! No! This is not acceptable! This is not acceptable work! This is sloppy! This is child's play! This is child's play! Oh, God dang it! That was a horrible demonstration of how to catch a boss ghost, my friends. Oh my god. Well, the main goal of catching boss ghosts is to try to catch them in one suction. Catching them in one suction rewards you with greater sized pearls. As you can see, you are rewarded pearls for catching boss ghosts. 
The three sizes of pearls, small, medium, and large. Getting large pearls are very important, signifying that you defeated the boss ghost by absorbing more than 90% of its health in one suction. I believe that is the correct number. Oh, yeah. Firstly, let's grab this key. Look at me, you got a key! Yes, the key used uh, the door at the end of the hallway. We should go there next. But as I was trying to say, catching a boss ghost with 90% of its health in one suction is key, for it is the way to earn large pearls and achieve better ranks on the, on the uh, boss ghosts themselves. You're actually ranked on catching each boss ghost, as you'll find out when we clear Area 1. We'll get there at a later point. But, without further delay, let us enter this door and meet. The second boss ghost. This is the wife of Neville. Her name is Lydia. But as you can see, she is rather self-absorbed in her hair brushing. I don't know why you would need to brush her hair that much, but Lydia apparently does. So let's just explore first. Let us just take all of Lydia's money. She is dead. She doesn't need it anyway. This family is really is freaking loaded, man. Look at the, they just keep gold bars in their cabinets. Damn, this place, they're rich. They're freaking loaded with cash. I feel kind of guilty for stealing it all, but as I was saying, they're dead. They don't need it anyway. Luigi's just a greedy grave robber. Luigi, you have no class, my friend. Anyway, we have this fan here, and if we continue sucking the fan, that sounded very dirty. This is G rated, friends. G rated. Nothing bad here. Nothing bad here at all. Just sucking. Sucking and blowing for money. Just sucking and blowing for money. Get your mind out of the gutter. Anyway, to defeat Lydia, the second boss ghost, we must make a feel of the draft. Oh, it is so chilly outside. Oh, such a draft. Let me help you. No. Dang. God dang. Try this again. It's a bit cold in here, Lydia. Why don't you go close the window? Oh, it's a draft in here, Leo! I think you might want to get inside my vacuum cleaner! Former! Ugh! I got one strategy that's very useful is to try to pin the ghost in a corner and then do your best to try to maintain them in that corner. But as you can see, we captured Lydia in one suction, rewarding us with a large pearl. Very nice. I would have liked to have gotten a large pearl on Neville, but for the time being, we shall accept our fate. So let us see what is in this chest. Look at me, you got a key! We got another key! Where does this door take us? Or, key take us? Oh, another door. As you can see, there's a toad out there. That's actually the uh, balcony we were on just not too long ago after after clearing the wardrobe. So, oh, the toad got the toad! Toad! Toad, hello! Hey, can you hear me? I just defeated a ghost! Anyway, let us exit the master bedroom. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Uh... I remember reading that the baby of Neville and Lydia is rather terrifying. Scaring the two older twin brothers more so than anyone had ever seen before them. I think we need some time to prepare for this encounter, my friends. Alrighty. I think we can call that an episode. In the next episode of Let's Play Luigi's Mansion, we shall enter the young lad's room and see what he holds in store for us. We take on the next boss in the next episode, my friends. I will see you then.